welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome to my channel in today's video I've been meaning to film this video for like four five months now um this is me my full like one year official post op Q&A for my rhinoplasty if you don't know what a rhinoplasty is that is my nose nose job yeah, I got one last year in June, the end of June, like June 29th or something, June 30th, something like that. I did like a whole journey video and recovery vlog, like showing you guys me like fully like swollen bitch. And then I even did like a after post-op Q&A when I was just like right out of my cast. And then I think I did another video that was like kind of like a six month mark. I think I did it like around December. And basically that was just like an update video on how I was recovering and then I promised you guys like a full one year post-op Q&A update video. So that is what this is and I first want to say like I'm so sorry that this video took so long because I just never got around to filming it honestly but still to this day I get a lot of DMs with a whole bunch of questions that you guys have for me in regards to my rhinoplasty and so Obviously, I want to give you guys like the most in-depth answers, but it's kind of hard to like respond detail to like everyone and everyone kind of has like different questions. So I am here to answer you guys' questions today. Basically, I'm just going through my DMs and seeing what you guys ask me. And I've had a whole bunch of conversations with a lot of you guys. I think a couple of you guys even went to my doctor, so that's crazy. And I did mention my doctor back in those videos but I will mention him again and everything so I'm gonna kind of give you guys an update a recap also just because it's literally been like more than a year since I've had the surgery so I'm gonna recap for those of you guys who are new and if you guys are new make sure you guys subscribe to my channel down below we are almost at 10,000 subscribers so I'm so excited and so happy that we are almost at that milestone so now that we are one year post off as you guys can see my nose I'm ready to talk about it so let's go ahead I can give like a full review because I'm officially like fully recovered and yeah let's go ahead and get into the questions subscribe if you are new give it a thumbs up and without further ado let's get on with the video so first off this girl messaged me her name is Nan oh Damn. I won't like say her everything, but like her name is Nancy. So shout out to Nancy. These are her questions and I wanted to get them out of the way because she does have a lot of good questions. So let's go ahead and start with her question. All right. So the first question she asks is, do you have any regrets? Is there any issues with your nose? Does it feel botched or do you have any problems breathing? So do I have any regrets? Um, not so much regrets, but I honestly, if I were like to do it again, I would wear the tapes a little longer. Yeah, I would have worn the tapes a little longer and like more religiously just because I feel like it could have given me like the tiniest more of like a slope. But other than that, I have no regrets. I would actually do it again tomorrow. So I'm super happy with this procedure and how everything like, you know, ended up and how my nose ended up. I'm really happy. So no, I don't feel like botched or anything. And as for my breathing, no, I can like 100% breathe and that didn't mess anything up with like my breathing. It was more just like cosmetic and yeah, so there's like no breathing issues. All right, the next question is, when did you start to see the tip of your nose go down? I'm scared that my nose will look like a pig forever, lol. So this is actually a great question and it's a big question that I wanted to touch on. So when I first got my cast off, obviously like my nose was very much up, um, but that's because like I was fresh out of surgery and at first, Honestly, no, like I was so excited to like get my cast off. I didn't really care that much But obviously I was still my tip was super swollen and like super lifted up and stuff It does take a while for it to go down. I would honestly say like Throughout a couple months you guys can even go back to my old videos like when I was doing videos after my surgery Like now looking back at it. I really feel like I look like a pig But look at me now like honestly it went down so much, but it did take a few months and I kind of thought the same. I was like, oh my god, bitch, like, am I gonna look like this forever? Or, but my doctor actually warned me and said, like, you know, you're gonna feel like you look like a pig for a little bit. You just have to trust the healing process and trust that, you know, it is gonna go down. It's just extremely swollen. It's a, like, pretty big surgery. It's, like, right on your face, you know? So, yeah, I had to trust that it went down and 
it did so I would say a couple months I'm not sure like exactly but also everyone is different so some people can heal like way faster than others and some people it can take longer so it just depends on the person but yeah don't get discouraged if you feel like you look like a piggy because I definitely did looking back at my videos that I was filming but yeah now it like completely healed and like it went down completely so when did the swelling go down after the surgery so I'm assuming that you're talking about like my puffingness on my eyes so the first day out of surgery I was like boom like bitch like I got in a fight and it was like super puffy like puffy around my eyes my eyelids were extremely like swollen and puffy the puffiness went down within a week the bruising took like you know a couple weeks to go down and then there was like a period of time because it went from like pink purple like blue and then there was a long time that it was just yellow which it was like going away but it took a long time for that to go away so this one is when can you start wearing makeup so this is a big one I wanted to like throw on makeup so fast because obviously you know you want to feel like yourself again so I think I was like a month post up um, I didn't wear makeup for a while just because obviously I still number one had my cast for like a couple weeks And then I was really scared to like for like foundation and stuff to like put pressure on my nose like my beauty blender and stuff But I've seen people do it within like, you know, kind of honestly when they get their cast off They put makeup on I just kind of waited because for me I felt like I didn't want to put pressure on my nose just because I still felt the pressure So I think it depends um how you feel when you get your cast off it's different for everybody but i think i took like a month after i took my cast off i think i waited like a month after my surgery and i think i had my cast off already for a little bit i was dying to put on makeup though but i just waited till i was comfortable you know applying that pressure on my nose next question is was he a nice doctor is the staff nice too so this is going to my doctor a lot of you guys were asking who i went with and stuff so i will link his information down below and his instagram and all that stuff um, i did get my rhinoplasty done in tj tijuana mexico whatever you want to call it yeah a lot of you guys were asking about like the my doctor and the staff and i literally said this like from the jump i think it was in my first q a video that i did that the staff was like so amazing my like nurse she was so amazing like i wanted to like come back and bring her flowers i should have she was super like helpful nice and like also like she was like encouraging me and stuff she was saying like every post appointment like you know you go like you have like a couple appointments after your surgery and so every appointment she was like girl you look like so good but she was saying this like all in spanish but she was just very encouraging and like she made me feel really good and safe and as for my doctor i really trusted him and he was amazing he spoke like fluent english if that is what you guys are like concerned about like the language just because it is in mexico but he spoke fluent english and i told him exactly what i wanted and he gave me literally that also i want to mention that he was like super realistic with my vision and obviously you know he made sure that everything was proportionate to my body and my face shape and stuff so he is very like realistic and like particular about every single person and their face shape so it was just like very personal because he knew like what would look good and what wouldn't look good with my face shape so yeah i really did like him like i said i'll link him down below for you guys for anyone interested but yeah i loved him so those were all the questions from nancy and she's actually getting her surgery done with him so good luck girl their staff is like amazing and just make sure you communicate you know exactly what you want and he's gonna tell you like the realistic outcome so Congratulations though, I'm like so happy for you. Okay, now I'm going to the other Instagram questions. So the first one says, hi, love your videos. How long was a procedure, pain level, during and after? So first off, thank you, Starry Sam. Love you so much. So first off, how long was the procedure? So I think my procedure was about two and a half hours long. Yeah, it was like two and a half hours. It wasn't long at all. The pain level before and after my procedure. So obviously before, like you feel nothing, bitch. Like they got you drugged up. When I first went in, they were doing my IV and stuff. They gave me like a pill to like kind of like calm me down and like calm my anxiousness and stuff. Because they know you're kind of like, you know, nervous. And then after that's when they gave me the anesthesia and bitch, I was out. So before pain level like zero literally I felt nothing even after like right after I came out from surgery I literally felt nothing bitch like the only thing that I felt was a little nauseous and I threw up But that's because you know, they're working like right there 
with like your throat and stuff so I just this might be a, like a lot I don't know like warning blood warning I don't know I threw up a lot of blood after my surgery just because you know they were working there and like so blood felt like down my throat I don't know if that's gross like is this too much but I threw up that pain level after my surgery was zero because I was still on like the pain medicines and stuff and even after that the only thing that I will say like her like was when I was already home and like laughing and stuff so like this was like super like tight and so laughing would hurt or like a little bit of pressure on my nose would hurt but other than that honestly did not feel any pain next question is did it have a drastic effect on your confidence within yourself today bitch yes like 1000% did that's what I did it for just because I since I was little and I had that huge bump on my nose I was super insecure in like middle school and stuff all through high school I wore glasses and I didn't want to get contacts because I did not like my side profile so now I feel like so much better about myself and I don't have to worry about that you know so it was like a weight lifted off my shoulders and that's really what I did it for I did it for myself and like not anybody else and so yeah it did make a huge difference in my confidence so the next one is from Melly, and she said, not a question, but it looks so natural. I forgot you even got one. So first off, thank you so much. That was like literally the biggest compliment, but I'm glad that it looks natural just because I didn't want anything super crazy. I just wanted something super realistic and proportionate to my face. So that is a huge compliment. Thank you so much. Luciana asked if I could use sunglasses or glasses. So yes, I can. However, I think I had to wait like two months to even wear like glasses and stuff. Yeah, so you have to wait like a little bit of time. I think I waited like two, three months before I could wear sunglasses and stuff, which sucked because I got the surgery in like summer. So like I couldn't wear sunglasses. I definitely like recommend like following that because you don't want to like, you know, you don't want to mess it up just because it's still like not fully recovered and it's still swollen and stuff. You don't want to like mess anything up there, but now I can. It just took a couple of months before I was able to. So those are like mainly the questions you guys had. I'm trying to think of like something else I can answer. Basically, it did take like a full year to like be fully recovered, but like by like the eighth month, I was fine. Don't get discouraged if you know, you feel like you have like a piggy nose. It does take time you guys to heal. Like this is a procedure, you know, and healing takes time and even though it might be like discouraging because like you want to wear makeup or you want to wear sunglasses or like you feel like you look like how you didn't want it it just takes time but i'm super happy with my results and i think it's super natural and i feel like when i meet people like people can't even tell but also i really wanted to be super completely honest with you guys and transparent um with my journey just because when i was like going to have the surgery before i wanted to look up like so many videos and stuff and there wasn't like a ton i feel like there's a ton now but like growing up like at 13 years old 12 years old there wasn't that many videos on it educating and like people's personal experience and so that's what i really wanted so i feel like i want to do that to you guys and give you guys like my inside scoop on how it was getting surgery i would literally do it again tomorrow like if i had to for me the like the pain was nothing it was more of just like the recovery the physical recovery like how it looked and stuff um but even then i was so happy to like not have that bump anymore i was out here killing it like posting on tiktok and youtube when i looked like a pig but it's okay <laughs> that is all for today's video it was just a little update q a for you guys and i feel like i'm missing so much leave comments down below if you guys have any and i will either try to get back at you or just make a whole other video talking about it because i can talk about it for literally ever i do want to say like i'm not encouraging or discouraging plastic surgery literally do what makes you happy and if this is something you want for yourself like do it and if it's not then don't do it you know let me know if you guys have any other questions thank you guys so much for watching today's video and i will see you guys in the next one